Hey, how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. Alright, okay, so I don't really know what I'm going to talk about this time. I've got lots of book stuff that I could talk about. Um, I, there, there are certainly lots of things that are going through my mind stuff that I could talk about but I want to try and not be constantly talking about the same things all the time. <laughs> A little bit of diversity never hurt anybody you know. Um, so I guess um, what I could talk about is how different things are this time this year to how they were this time last year. So those of you who've been following my vlog since last year know that I did a home ownership journey series of vlogs within the course of the year, um, starting with one in January when I basically was like, if I got together enough money for a deposit for a flat, I'm going to start looking. Um, don't know how many of, the, many of these I'm going to do. They don't know how spaced out they're going to be. Um, until like you know March, <laughs> April when it was like oh god I'm actually buying my first property. <laughs> um, so this would have been roughly around the time last year that I officially started looking. I think I already viewed a couple of places by this point in the last year. Um, I don't know if I viewed this flat for the first time um, this time last year, but it was sort of, you know, getting close to that point, sort of around that sort of point in time um, when I was sort of seriously looking and, you know, uh, weighing up the, the different options. Um, and my mum, who was great and amazing and I love her a lot, <laughs> Uh, was basically my second opinion on on all the places that that was that we were viewing, um, and I remember the particular day that we um, came to actually view this this particular property. Uh, it was the third of three properties that we viewed with the same estate agent that particular day. The first was a loft, um, an attic flat. Um, that to me felt very small. There was like literally no kitchen space. Um, I mean, the, the living room was sort of a decent size, but it had like funny ceilings. Um, the bedroom was the same. It had like funny ceilings. It, it felt very small, um, even though it was, I think, one of the bigger, uh, it was just definitely bigger than the second place that we went to. Um, but certainly, I don't think was as big as, as this one, um, although funnily enough, I think they listed that as being the bigger of the three. It didn't feel like the bigger of the three if it was. It, it was, it felt tiny in comparison to, to this place. Um, the second place we went to visit, um, the owners were actually there at the time and it was a bit awkward and uncomfortable and it was very small. Um, I mean, it, it wasn't a practical sort of space um, for, for living in uh, long term. It was sort of like more where you go if you were a student and you're only going to spend like a couple of years there at the most. And it was just like that place you have to return to. That's what it felt like. It, it felt like a decent flat for a student, but not for an adult looking for long term, uh, a long term accommodation, long term home. And then we came to this place. And I walked through and I was like, wow, this place is big. <laughs> it felt big. It felt big and spacious. Um, then, of course, mum and I were walking around and we spotted all these problems and all these things that would need uh, fixing up. And, and uh, it just sort of, like the initial first impression, it was definitely my favourite of the three that we saw that day. Um, my mum's favourite was the attic. Um, uh, my favourite was this place, but it was this place if only there weren't all these extra things that you have to sort of sort out for it. Um, you know, it, it was my favourite in theory, but maybe not necessarily in, in practice at that point. Um, so went away, viewed a few other places. Um, then there was this other sort of fairly strong contender. Um, it, had, it, it felt 
nice in some aspects and not so great in other aspects. Um, went back to view that one and the same day we went back to view that one, we also came back and viewed this one as well, just um, because my mum was sort of like, you, you know what, it, it's not, you know, it, 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 it's a fixer upper, but it's not, you know, maybe necessarily as expensive as, you know, uh, initially thought it would be. And I could actually afford to buy this place outright, well, not outright, but get a mortgage on this place. And, and my deposit would be enough for this place um, without them having to chip in the little bit extra, which they were prepared to do, you know, if I found somewhere where I didn't quite have the deposit um, because I could get the mortgage for it. Um, so came back, saw it again, sort of discussed our way around it a little bit. And yeah, then then it was kind of like, you, you know what, I'm going to put in an offer for this place. Um, and it, it all sort of move forward from there. <laughs> and it's like, it's amazing to think, you know, it's like just, just over a year ago. Um, well, no, not quite that, just under a year ago, just under a year ago that I went, that I was like just looking for, for properties and then, you know, uh, it, it, it just boggles my mind that this time last year I wasn't a homeowner and now, now I am. And I still like have moments where I'm kind of, I, I just remember that this place is mine, <laughs> that I, that I own this place. And it's just, it just, it feels like a big deal still. It feels like a big deal because it's something that I've done, you know, on my own. I saved up the deposit on my own. I, you know, I had had some advice and help finding the place and I've had some help fixing the place up, but it's mine. I, you know, when, when I'm ready to move on, I will be selling this place for, to, to buy somewhere else. And it, it feels, good it feels like a good investment that I have made and it feels like I, I've stepped away from being a child and into being an adult even though I'm not a very adult adult <laughs> I'm not a proper adult I'm still not a proper adult but I feel like you know it's that that kind of thing that a lot of people my age are really struggling to do and yes it's not a house and I know for a lot of people, it's kind of like, you know, your first property, you, you want it to be a house. And of course, I wanted my first property to be a house. But at that point in time, I was also in a in a long term relationship. That I didn't think was going to come to an end. And I wanted my first house to be with that person. But that didn't work out. <laughs> and, you know, because that didn't work out, it's, you know, it's not. It's not a bad place that I'm in now. It's not, um, you know, I, I am a homeowner, I'm on the property market, so instead of taking 300 uh, odd pounds a month and lining a landlord's pocket with it, I'm taking that money and I'm investing it in my future. I'm investing it in, you know, being able to buy a nicer, bigger property next time around. It's, you know, it's, it's a good feeling. It's a good feeling to to know that you've got this thing that you are investing your time and your money into and it will eventually you know turn around and put you in a better place or put you in the place that you want to be you know five six years down the road from from now and it's it still just gets me it still just gets me that I need it here. Um, you know, I'm, I'm in my early 30s. I'm single. I can't work full time um, for my day job because of, of my medical conditions. And I have to keep on top of the pain. <laughs> I, I live in a lot of pain. You know, I've had a rough go with my health the last couple of years as well. And to, to think that you know, somehow out of the ashes of, uh, of heartbreak and of an, another failed relationship that I've managed to turn my life around 
to the point where I am a homeowner and I'm, you know, perfectly happy being single and living with my gerbils and my teddy bears. <laughs> the all important teddy bears. Got, got to have something cold at night. <laughs> um, but yeah, to, you know, in, in the space of, you know, a very few years, really, between, you know, the end of that relationship and, and getting to this point now, it's, it feels good. It feels positive. And, you know, I'm, I'm one of those people that I always try to, to find the positive for, for any situation. But in this case, I don't think there necessarily is a negative. I mean, you know, OK, yeah, it's not a house, but it's a beautiful flat. It doesn't need to be a house. And, um, you know, house is next. <laughs> How's this next? Let, let me let me be a homeowner for a little bit longer and, you know, get get to the point where, you know, I, I can sort of start seriously thinking about maybe looking for a house and then it'll be like, hey, house time. But right now it's just just being on the property ladder and it's like a little bit of freedom. And I know that sounds like weird because you're tied down more with a mortgage than you necessarily are if you're a renter, but it feels like a little bit of freedom. It feels like a little bit of control. It feels, as I said, it's it's an investment. It feels like I'm building towards my future, whereas when you're a renter, you just feel like all your money is disappearing and you've got nothing to show for it. Well, I've got something to show for my money now. You know, I've got four beautiful walls <laughs> I've got more than four walls here you know I do have divides between my rooms and stuff but you, you know what I mean it's it's that different sense that you get that your money is doing something for you rather than you just having it one second and then it all frittering away the next second it's it's a nice position to be in and it is amazing to think that it's not even been a full year yet um since I officially became a homeowner and I'm like April 15th. April 15th is my home anniversary. <laughs> it's still a couple of months away, but I, you know, I'm I'm pretty sure I will remember to have a takeout that night or, you know, buy myself something nice for dinner at least and just celebrate a year of being a homeowner. Um, and right now it's nice to sort of look back to where I was this time last year, living in a, you know, renting a perfectly nice basement flat. Um, and then comparing it to where I am this year, where it's like, this is how, this is this, this is mine, this is my flat, this is you know what I own, this is what what all my hard hard work and my hard savings and you know all of that has has got me, and it's a nice feeling to kind of look back and 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 kind of go, wow, what what a journey. <laughs> What, what a journey, what journey has brought me to to this, you know, fairly amazing position to be in for someone of, of my generation living, you know, in the world that we are currently living in. It's it's not that easy to get on, on the property ladder and, you know, anyone out there who is trying and who, or who is thinking about it and isn't sure if they should go ahead and sort of... Uh, Go for it because they, they're not sure if, you know, that they are, you know, will be able to get a mortgage or anything like that. I'm, I'm, you know, I would say absolutely save for your deposit. Absolutely have a go at trying it. Just make sure you have realistic expectations. You know, I went in with realistic expectations. I knew I wasn't going to be able to afford a house. Um, but, you know, if I could afford something that felt spacious and felt nice, you know, if it had a second bedroom, that would be awesome this place doesn't and that's okay I don't need a second bedroom at this stage in my life it just would have been nice to have <laughs> but you know go in with realistic expectations go in knowing what you absolutely must have from own property like you know one of my big ticks was a bath um because of, of my medical conditions because you know I, I do get lots of aches and pains Having a bathtub is something that is more than just luxury for me. It is, you know, something I do re require um, on a fairly regular basis, especially when it's very cold, like it is at the moment, just to sort of ease out a lot of those aches and pains that 
I can't necessarily touch with anything else because I'm resistant to painkillers and there is nobody around to massage me when I require it. <laughs> oh, 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 the drawbacks of being single. Oh, well, I have a bath instead. <laughs> I mean, you know, where I was living before, I bought myself one of those portable barrel bathtubs because I couldn't not have one. Um, so, yeah, a, a big, you know, check in, in my checklist was it, it has to have a bath. The bathtub is something, you know, that I do require. And, yeah, this place has a bath. And I use it frequently. I, I like that. <laughs> Um, but, you know, one of the things I didn't require was parking because I don't drive. So, you know, for somebody else, they might not require the bath. The shower will be good enough for them, but they may require the parking. It's all, you know, give and take. So, yeah, I would absolutely say to anybody who is currently thinking, you know, is this the right move for me to make? Is this something that is possible given, you know, my finances, given, you know, um, my, my age, given this, given that, given the other. And I would absolutely say, if you're capable of saving up for your deposit, save up for your deposit. If you are earning enough to rent, you're not earning enough for a mortgage. You are earning enough for a mortgage, you really are, you know, depending on, on what you're renting. Um, but, you know, nine times out of 10, Rent is going to be more expensive than a mortgage, you know, bearing in mind who, who you go with for it. And I would absolutely say, shop around, talk to people, you know, make sure you get yourself the, the best deal that you can possibly get yourself and just map everything out, you know, sit down and, and really seriously think, you know, is this something I want? Is this something I can afford? And, you know, is this something that I can, that is worthwhile for me to do? And, you know, I, from my point of view, yeah, absolutely. This has been absolutely worth worthwhile for me doing, me becoming a homeowner. And I feel like I've got so much more control over my life because I don't have to uh, throw my money into my landlord's pocket anymore. I can, I can throw it into an investment in my future. And, you know, that's what paying, what paying off a mortgage is. It's investing in your future and, you know, for me, that is something that is becoming increasingly more important because, you know, my future is going to be whatever I make of it and I have complete control over it. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I hope you guys have found that one sort of interesting. It wasn't one of those. That's the nice thing about kind of not planning necessarily what you're going to talk about if you you know sort of find yourself trading into something that's you know just pops into your head when you sit down to start filming it's absolutely brilliant <laughs> i definitely didn't plan this um if i planned this it would probably be closer to april <laughs> no mind um but yeah I, I hope you guys found this one Sort of interesting um and i hope you're looking forward to whatever it is i decide to talk about next time see ya <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video feel free to check out some of my others and if you like what you see please like and subscribe see ya